What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some fragrance mists that smell like perfume. I'm not kidding. These could literally pass and fool anyone as an actual perfume, but you are saving that coin, girl. I am always here to help you guys save that coin. Anyways, I did mention these on my TikTok if you want to go check that out, but this video is going a lot more in depth. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, for sure, like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on social media, Instagram, TikTok, you know, the whole deal with that, the whole deal with that, you know the deal with that, and let's get right into it. First off, I'm going to mention some fragrances that I usually don't mention on my channel all the time, and then I'm going to show you guys fragrances that I do mention a lot, but that work perfectly within this topic. So the first one, which I should honestly mention these both more, I think they've been in the back of my shelf for a minute, so I haven't really pulled them out. But girl, let me tell you, they are going to the front of my shelf. This is First Love by Victoria's Secret. Now, this... <laughs> literally smells like an actual perfume it's insane this is an actual perfume like i cannot believe that this is even a body mist i would love to get my hands on the actual perfume but honestly i don't even need it this works great it's very fresh very lively i would say this is definitely a daytime scent but because it's so expensive smelling and fresh Definitely I'd wear this at nighttime, like hands down. The lasting power is amazing for a fresh fragrance and the floral in here, even if you don't love floral, you'll probably still like this because it's just fresh. So if you enjoy very lively fragrances, then definitely go with this one. This next one is just the original love. That one is first love, but this is, I would say, very similar. Oh, I caught it on my nose. Very similar, but a little bit sweeter. And when I say sweet, I don't mean that this is a sweet fragrance by any means. It's still very fresh, very floral, expensive smelling. But that sweetness in here just really adds a lot to the fragrance. I love this stuff. It literally just smells like actual perfumes. And I think that's the coolest thing about, you know, any type of body sprays is that you can smell just as good as someone with a $100 perfume with a body spray and it's so funny like I feel like I get complimented more on body sprays than I wear than when I do wear perfumes of course I get compliments for days with my perfumes but like I wear raspberry jam donut and people are like oh my god what is that like I've never smelled that before so yeah never knock certain stuff till you try it this next one is from Bath and Body Works hello beautiful now this I love pairing with um Coco Mademoiselle the lotion it's very fresh again floral but the last note in here kind of just chills everything out it's not a woodsy note that I'm getting but it's definitely something that's very grounding to the fragrance first those are very like lively at the end this kind of just adds the slightest bit of warmth but it is fresh Oh my god, I love this stuff. This, though, is a specifically great brunch fragrance, lunchtime fragrance. This is amazing for spring, amazing for summer. I don't really wear this in the winter. I will wear Coco Mademoiselle and then put on this lotion in the winter time. But this, I would say, is strictly a spring and summer type daytime fragrance. It is not a floral that I would usually bring with me into the nighttime. It's definitely just you know, during the late hours of the day. So it's beautiful. Like when I smell this, I just want to wear a sundress and like call it a day. Like it's just simplistic. It's something that you know you could always pick up, always go to. It's not going to fail you. The lasting power, again, isn't amazing. Okay, go watch my long lasting fragrances videos. But let me tell you, you spray enough on. You'll be smelling like that all night long. So, okay, moving down the line. This next one I actually wore yesterday morning and night. Literally, that's how like in love I was when I was wearing it. This is Black Amethyst. And you guys, girl, this stuff is like a mix of Dark Kissed and Jimmy Choo had a baby. It would be this. It is so strong, so expensive smelling. This is definitely a nighttime fragrance. Yes, I wore it during the day yesterday, but I would say it's definitely a nighttime fragrance. Oh my god, it's insanely good. Like, 
I can't even. You guys, look at the packaging. The packaging is exactly what this smells like. Literally exactly what it smells like. This is one of the sexiest fragrance mists that I own in my collection. Literally smells like a million bucks. Like, you will smell like this all day. It's so strong. It's equally as strong as, like, In the Stars and um, Into the Night, which I will be showing you guys. So, yes, definitely get this. This next one is Dark Kiss. Now, the plum note in here is very strong. If you don't like anything with plum, maybe don't go for this. It is so good. Oh my god, yes. It is definitely another one, which is a nighttime fragrance. This and Black Amethyst do have um, like similar qualities, I would say. This is a lot lighter and more sweet, though, and this is not a light fragrance by any means. But compared to Black Amethyst, it's a little bit lighter. If you want to get into, like, deep, sexy fragrances, but you're like, ooh, do I want to go all the way or not, I would say get Dark Kiss instead of Black Amethyst. But if you're trying to go sexy, sexy, go with Black Amethyst. This is, like, sweet, plum-like, a little bit of vanilla in here. You can tell there are so many fragrance notes in this that it, it is insane. I just love this the packaging. Like, can we not? Literally, we could do so much better for Dark Kiss. I don't know what what's going on here. But this stuff is seriously one of a kind. It actually smells similar to the Britney Spears um, Night Fantasy. Okay, you guys, I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, Midnight Fantasy, but it's actually over there. Or did I move it over here somewhere? Anyways, I bought that the other day at TJ Maxx. Here's the thing. My first initial reaction, like, I absolutely hated it, but you guys know, like, when I took it out of the box, I was like, oh, what did I do? What did I spend 20 bucks on? But then I was like, let me wear this twice, and it's, it's growing on me a little bit. I matched that last night with Black Amethyst, and maybe it was the Black Amethyst that, you know, was, like, counteracting it, and, like, the fragrance tones were really going together, but I'm not sure. It actually grew on me a little bit. My boyfriend said that it smelled really good, so I don't know. I mean, I'm on the definitely on the fence with that, so I will for sure keep you updated if I'm just going to give it away or anything, but yeah. All right. Oh, that's my friend. All right. Next one I have is In the Stars. We had to include In the Stars. I actually mentioned her recently on my channel. In the Stars smells similar to Ariana Grande Cloud um, fragrance. I would say that this is a little bit more masculine than Ariana Grande Cloud, but they do smell very similar. I would say this could honestly be a unisex fragrance. Like, honestly, because it gives me, like, Abercrombie smell of 2007. If you know what I'm saying, like, when you walked into the store and it was like, whoa, yeah, that is what I get. And this is very, very strong. So just know that going into it, if you don't like strong or any type of a masculine twist on anything, you're like a very sweet girl, you know, you only like warm, sweet fragrances, no, don't do it. Or if you only strictly like fresh fragrances, don't do it. This is very strong. But that sandalwood in here, girl. Amazing. Literally amazing. This next one is, of course, I'm going to touch on it briefly. You guys know I mentioned Into the Night so many times. This, again, is so sexy. So sexy and expensive smelling. By the way, you guys, I do want to say I can make like a part two of this and a part three of this, like, I can make this video into like a series because I have so many more that I want to mention but I would be sitting here for literally 10 hours straight so if you do want to see this like as a series because not even a one other video with this um, idea will save it like I'm gonna need to make multiple because I have many fragrances that smell like perfume so yeah the lasting power is insane it smells like an actual perfume it's sexy but it has that little bit of sweetness it's nothing like in the stars i know many people have asked me do they smell similar definitely definitely not they do i could pick up certain notes that might be similar but by no means are these the same this is a whole lot more masculine this is a very like womanly nighttime you know going out type fragrance this is just a sexy fragrance that you need in your life. Like, 
I just love this stuff. I love the packaging, like everything about this. It's just amazing. And when I got like into Bath and Body Works again as of last year, or honestly like a year and a half ago now, which is crazy, I um actually that was one of my first fragrances that I bought and I was like, oh my god, this is so good, which it's amazing. It's still one of my favorites. I had to include my true love. I know I mention her all the time, but like you guys, it fits this video. I had to start off with the basics, you know? This is You're the One. I have the lotion on right now. Expensive. So it says the fragrance notes on the back on this one. They should do that on all of them. The fragrance notes are White Birch, Velvety Rose. Immediately pick up both of those. A drop of sweet nectar or strawberry nectar, which makes sense when it's said, like, specifically a drop of strawberry nectar because it's definitely not overly sweet at all. All. I wouldn't say this is a like sweet floral by any means you get the rose in here but the white birch I feel like makes this expensive it's beautiful and it's definitely one of those fragrances that mixes with your body chemistry like it makes the fragrance smell very different because there are some fragrances like a black amethyst I put it on my skin and it usually projects very similarly to how it is in like the cap or something this definitely mixes with your skin and changes a little bit. Now the lotion or the body cream of it, strong, girl, let me tell you, strong. The lasting power, amazing. I'm beyond obsessed with that fragrance. Like You need it. They can never take it away like ever. Okay, this next one is Tease by Victoria's Secret. It's one of those that I have been wearing for so many years, like so many years, and it's just gorgeous the vanilla note in here yes it's very much there but there is so much more to this fragrance than just being a vanilla this is expensive and i've noticed fragrances that are pure just plain straight up vanilla they don't smell as rich i would say like as expensive i would say but when you have a vanilla with floral notes involved that's when you start getting expensive smelling. Now, they usually have a deal like two for 30. Lately, they've been like doing on and off deals with um, this line of fragrances, which is like annoying. But um, yeah, wait until it's at least two for 30. Do not pay more than 15 bucks for this. So don't do it. It's in like the line with Very Sexy, Bombshell, which that's another one. Both of those I would love to include in this video, but I'd be here all day long. So yes. You guys, I'm not going to talk about her for long. I'm just going to mention briefly because I had to mention if any of my new viewers are watching. Aqua Kiss. I said it. You guys know my favorite out of this whole video. Like, you guys know. Aqua Kiss is on another level of expensive smelling. So expensive. Like, I don't know why they haven't made it into an actual perfume yet. Like, I literally don't know why. Is the lasting power insanely amazing? Definitely not. But it's one of those that is just so worth it that it's like not even funny. It's just so worth it. Anyways, I had so much fun making this video, you guys. I love you so much. Definitely talk with me down below. What are your opinions on any of these fragrances? Or if you have any expensive fragrances that you want me to try, please let me know because I'm always listening to you guys. Like, so many of you have given me fragrance ideas and I went and smelled them and bought them. And, like, I wouldn't have known about them if it wasn't for you guys. So, Tell me, literally let me know, what am, I miss what am I missing out on? God is so good. Never forget it. He is always there no matter what. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one.